kids wouldn't wouldn't know for one and two wouldn't understand when you've been practicing something for multiple years and you know all season that you make you make subtle changes whether it's a personnel change to go from two tight ends playing the same position or two running backs or three receivers or whoever's in a game we have to now be very uh, delicate and you know the position changes that we have and, and give them the best opportunity to be successful who would you say is like your number three guy behind uh, Matt McWilliams and Cunningham? And who's like the third option um, that's the right one? Well, if you know, we in the slot wise, we got uh, Roscoe, who's who was an outside guy that we moved inside because of the, you know the depth issues to begin with. So at least he's worked a little bit or enough to understand what to do. And then uh, Josh Cabrera is a guy who started out his career that way, but hadn't been there in years. So he's moved back a little bit. Um, you know, Dante DiMaggio is a guy that's been around here a while and, you know, could contribute in some, some shape, form, or fashion, given opportunities. So, uh, you know, that that's – and then we look at going in different personnel groupings. We have some running backs that could fill that slot. We have some tight ends that could fill that slot by just changing the personnel. You've been around coaching for a long time, obviously. When's the last time you encountered a situation – like this where back-to-back -back weeks you lose significant people. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know that I've been through a season that in 30 years or however long I've been coaching since 86 that we've had a, um, you know, quite a storm like this one uh, where there's season-ending injuries and they're to your leaders and they're to the significant, you know, guys at certain positions that wipe out. You know, like the offensive line is a, is a continuity thing and receiver – quarterback continuity is something that he needs to know the nuances. Each each person comes out of a break a little different. Maybe running the same route, but how they run it's a little bit different. So you do that over the summer and you do that over a period of time. And, um, you know, that's just, you know, that time he's not there right now with everybody. So uh, we're getting it, though. You know, we're getting it through practice and be fine once we get them in it. But it's the first game for a lot of people. Right. You know, it's their first. You know, eight for Toe Groves. Again, that was his first game back and ever you know really i mean that's his first game so all that little bit was all new and it's the next guy's first game at guard or the next guy's first game at center the next guy you know so that's tough i mean everybody deals with it but usually it's mid-season end of the season injuries you gotta not as much as we've had to begin with well it's a heartbreaking scene obviously with, with groves like yeah how, how is he holding up and have you had some yeah i had a great conversation with him today you know he's got some strong faith and uh you know it's one of those things that uh he wasn't as strong and as tough as he is. And I don't know a normal person could handle what he's been through. So uh, hopefully it's uh, something that won't be as significant as the other one. And, uh, you know, he'll come back and be ready to go. You mentioned how guys break differently. How, how much of a challenge is that for Chaz when he's got so many different guys to get used to? And do you change what you do during the week maybe to increase some of those reps to build that chemistry? Well, unfortunately, you know, we get so many practice hours, you know, in a, in a day. So those usually came from summer and over a period of time working with that person to, to garnish that, that those reps and that timing. So, you know, we obviously do routes on air with each person, and he gets, you know, reps with every one of them. We're running however many deep we've got. We're running all those guys, so he gets used to them now. But he's seeing guys that maybe not have been in the game plan as much, and that's the only way to do it is to do practice reps. Well, some of them have to get used to him as well. I mean, oh, yeah, it's two-way two street. So, so how, again, is it the same thing? It's just a matter of what matter you Matter of time. Said. And that's something we ain't got a lot of. Have you guys reached a point where you've considered pulling a couple of red shirts? I know Bo got a, some reps out to you. Is right. He, is he close to get, being at that point now? or? Yeah, he's, he, he'll garnish some more reps as it goes through. And luckily, at his spot, we have a few guys, you know, a few men left standing. So he gets a few here and there. And, you know, you get in a crucial game. Uh, any Every game's crucial, but in crucial situations, obviously, you, you want to try to get guys in that, that have that timing. And, and he may not have that timing quite yet, but he's getting it. And same thing with Javal Millet, and same thing with, you know, Josh Cabrera, and same thing with the other guys that hadn't been the guy. Some of those guys you mentioned, I mean, what are they going to be able to bring? Uh, Javal, Bo, Craig, guys we may not know yet. Can you kind of handicap them a little bit? Yeah, I mean, as far as, you know, bring something to the table, both those guys have great length. You know, Bo and Javal both are, are tall guys with great, great catch radius. So. That in itself, uh, you know, is huge. So you, you want that. You want those big, tall, rangy guys in there. What about uh, can you can Chaz work with the receivers outside of practice on their own? Yeah, it's just usually in the summer or on weekends. And right now you're playing, and 
there is no more summer. So that's hard to find time. You have one day off, and that's Monday. That's the time you're grinding. That's legally allowed. They can do whatever they want outside yeah. of what we do. Yeah. Jamal's track's been a little slower than maybe some would have anticipated when he came here. But now that we saw his name on a depth chart yesterday, the fact that playing time out of necessity is there, is that maybe speeding things up for him a little bit? Oh, I think so. I think any, any time your, uh, your playing gauge gets to where it has some gas in it, you know, he feels like, hey, I got opportunities now. Uh, or more opportunities than the opportunity there to, to be successful. So your 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 feelings that hey I got to get really going. Your anticipation that you should feel that way, and that's the way we feel about it. So we're hoping that that will be there for him when he does get in. That he'll make the plays we think he's capable of. Was Saturday Roscoe's first time in game at the no. slot position. Uh, no, he had. Uh, I'm trying to think, Cal, he had a big catch against Cal, running catch, maybe on fourth down, I'm not sure, but uh, he was like third team, that third or fourth team, they had him in.